Greetings, dear ladies. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. In the custom of this channeling, my partner steps away completely. I said this before, but to this group, I say that my partner does not remember what is spoken from here on. And that is in honor of the gender, for he is the only male here. And he'll have to listen to it later. This is for you. The gender is honored. Spirit has no gender. You have no gender on the other side of the veil. But we have said it before, you are remembering Lemuria and the sisterhood. For you arrive at this time as a woman. That is by design. So some of you will remember when you were also female in Lemuria. The time frame is confusing, even to your teachers. The precession of the equinox is a 26,000 year wobble. But we have discussed the fact that the beginning Lemuria is 50,000 years old. Therefore, the precession of the equinox that you just had in 2012 was the second one that some of you have been through. Questions have been asked this night by some of the goddesses who are here. There is so much honor in what you've been through. We speak of very, very ancient times, elementary times, beginning times of learning. One of the questions that was asked, I will answer directly. Question, when Lemuria was about to be destroyed, what about the solar disk that went to Peru? Answer, there was no destruction of Lemuria. The mountain slowly sank, the bubble of magma which pushed it up was starting then to diminish and it became the Hawaiian Islands. There was no destruction. But during the sinking process which took years, we have described some of the things that took place. Number one, fear. How did you know it wasn't simply? entirely disappear in the ocean. Only some were there. As it's been pointed out already, you only went through one carnation and then moved on someplace else on the planet. It's almost like Lemuria was a core teaching session where the teaching would then be carried with you in the incarnation in your Akash to wherever else you would go for thousands of years in the planet. Almost like Lemuria was a seed of knowledge and teaching. You didn't incarnate there again. So most of you didn't know one another and yet there's something here that bonds you and I'm going to tell you what it is that I've never really mentioned in this way before. Was there a solar disk? Kind of. Mythology changes over time. But there are seed truths to certain things that stay kept in the Akash and repeated. Legends, perhaps, that you would then come forward and talk about. When the island, which was Mu or Lemuria, started to sink to become many islands, that little continent which became Hawaii was then evacuated slowly by all of you, men and women. The men were the ones who paddled. Even in the journey away from the sinking continent, 
you actually, as women, guided the men. Here's something we talk about. Maybe we've mentioned it. When you take to the canoes and the men were paddling, when you started into perhaps going to the southern hemisphere, the stars were different. How did the men navigate? They were expert sailors. And when some of you started sailing and paddling in desperation to find other places to be, you crossed over into the southern hemisphere where the stars were unknown to any of you. The answer, the women guided. The women had not seen the stars either, but they had teachers from the stars, and they knew where to go. Even advising the men while you were sailing. Imagine, the men turned to you yet again. Go here, go there. Many Lemurians ended up in South America. That's where the currents tend to go. And you would land there. Some of you took artifacts that were precious to you. There was not one solar disk. There were many. And the reason was because a disk that contained some of your most precious instructions from the Lemurian mothers were given to you, etched into the disk. It was before... It was before printing, dear ones. It was before you could, you could scratch anything into anything and have it make sense. Perhaps even before the written language as you know it today, these were primitive times given to you by your mothers. That's the solar disk. Are they existent today? Could you find them? And the answer, some are still around. Some will be found. That's the answer to one question. The answer to all of the others I'm going to give you. How is your experience on Lemuria relevant to today? How does it help you? How does it help you? to live from moment to moment, to raise your own children, to be perhaps different or cognizant of something you weren't before. Let me tell you what binds you here. And it's simple. And if you realize it, you'll have chills. All of you, in those days, in the beginning days of your Akashic record on this planet, all of you, had Lemurian mother teachers who would sit with you. Teachers from the stars. And you knew they were sacred. It was part of what Mally Ha did was to lead you to those places and those ceremonies where the original Pleiadian mothers, mothers would then teach you. And what they would teach you was your spirituality, your shamanship, your preciousness. So you could lead a civilization, so you could spread upon the earth. And your Akash would spit out the truth. And you would hear it. And I'll tell you what. All of you who were ever in Lemuria have a shining seed in your Akash who remembers this. You seek it. You want it. It is the epitome of motherhood and femininity. It is something you grasp at. It is the goddess energy that you know exists from the stars. All of you saw them and were taught by them. Meli Ha, she helped to organize it all, make it happen steer you into the teaching groups. That's what Lemuria was today. That seed is in your Akash. 
and it is ultimately practical. For it is the truth and the compassion of the God self inside you. The Pleiadians were your Lemurian teachers. From the stars, they were the original Lemurians. They are the teachers, the Pleiadians. And so when you were taught this mother of mothers, this goddess of goddesses, this model that you had in the Pleiadian teachers is what you remember. That's what you grasp at. That's the seed. And it's still there. If you can maintain the balance, the sisterhood is about finding the seed, applying it to your lives, and spreading the compassion of original taught knowledge from the stars to your children, to those around you, to your families, and you. For that teaching told about a practical living, no matter whether it was elementary, whether it was a beginning society, or whether it was modern. Because God is God, never changing. And the truth of how to act, behave, how to balance and become compassionate is always the same, generation through generations through generations. But the reason for the sisterhood today is the seed has been lost. Look what humanity has done with itself. Look how that which used to be the shamanic energy of the women has moved off its course. It's time for it to slowly return. And it can only do so when you start remembering the seed. Every mother here would like to emulate that which they were taught from the teachers from the stars. You met them. You sat with them. Do you get chills? Can you remember anything? If you can't remember it, I'll tell you your Akash does. And there's nothing like it, human being. And only the women caught the knowledge. And now you know. What might bring you here? Not just celebration. Not just remembrance. But the seed. Let the ceremony begin. And so it is.